Teresa, Teresa, wake up. I had a dream, and the Lord told me that we need to get out of town now, and uh, we need to get a supply of food and get the kids up. Oh, okay. How, how, many, how many days? Probably at least three days. Okay. All right. You want me to get them dressed, too? They better get them dressed. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll do that. <laughs> what time is it? Oh. <laughs> I wish the Lord would wake us up at a better hour. <laughs> Joseph? Joseph? Yeah? Dad says we need to go. Okay. Please get three days of provisions and get dressed and meet us downstairs in the family room. Okay. All right. Oh, do you know what time it is? One o'clock. Yeah. Emma? Emma? Catherine? Catherine? I need you girls to get up and get dressed and gather provisions and your clothes for three days. Dad says we need to leave fast. Okay? Okay. All right, don't go back to sleep on me. Where are we going? I don't know yet. Miranda? Miranda? What? Dad just woke me up. We need to get ready to go. We need to leave in about 10 minutes. Can you gather three days of provisions and get dressed? Meet us in the family room. Okay. Okay? All right, hurry. Okay. All right. We've got everybody together now. They've been awakened in the middle of the night because Lehi had a dream in the night that he needed to take his family and flee into the wilderness. And what were they going to take? Three things. Uh, Tents, provisions, provisions and themselves. And their family. Tents, provisions, family. So we've given them about 30 minutes. They've gathered everything they need for three days because that was the journey they took in the wilderness was three days before they camped, right? So I'm going to let you guys just explain what you've brought and why and then let's analyze if we really think we could do this for three days with what you have. Ready? Okay. Go. So, my scriptures. Good. Scriptures are good. Mm -hmm. I got mine. Excellent. Oh, my Excellent. I got my favorite stuffed animal. My favorite stuffed animal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I also brought a spare pair of pants. Oh, good. Extra clothes. So I brought my camping did pants. Did you bring more clothes than what you're wearing? All of us have clothes for at least three days. Yep. Clothes for three days, including underclothes? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. We Socks? Have, yep. Yeah. <laughs> no stinky We have feet. hygiene items, so brushes, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff. Okay. I have my pillow, my flashlight, my Sudoku. Flashlights, so, good. So let's have flashlights. I have a hat and sunglasses. Hat and sunglasses. Oh. It's winter time. Can you get sunburned in winter time? Yes. Yes, you can. I also brought my coat. We brought our coat. Coat, yes. yes. Okay, excellent. What else? Hmm. An extra study book. I brought my journal. Journal! Oh! Good, we talked about that earlier. you got to keep records. Uh, I brought my journal, too. <laughs> yeah, good. All right. Um, what else do we have here? Okay. And water. Top. Where's your water? We have water bottles. Bottles. Water so good. That's not water. That's, that's vinegar. That's oh. for doing laundry. Doing laundry. Brought some vinegar. Okay. That's good for cleaning. Here's water. So you have three water bottles that hold about two and a half cups Four. each for you. Each brought a water bottle for three days. We might not have thought that through all the way. <laughs> Unless you can find a water source. And you can boil water to clean it, right? Probably should get some water cleanser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, good. What else? I see a pan. So you're going to be able to cook. Yes. We have bread. We got Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter yes. and jelly is good. It's easy to make. spaghetti for three nights. Spaghetti for three nights. You might get tired of it, but hey, it's beans. better than nothing. We have pinto beans, beans. kidney beans, and chick beans. Okay, we like those. We have cream of mushroom soup. Uh-huh. Milk. Milk. Bananas. Bananas. Bread. 
bread. I see Apples some and oranges. Corn over there. So you got some fresh fruit, which for three days, if you just gathered it right now, that would work, right? I got some tuna and chicken. Okay. And even ham. have some ham. So you have spaghetti that you need to cook. We already talked about needing water. You have a pan. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a fuel source for cooking? Uh, fire. What are you going to do? Do you have some wood? No. Matches? No. Mm, this could be a problem. All right. But really, I think, you know, we wouldn't go hungry. We wouldn't go hungry. This could take us for three days. So we didn't bring enough water. Yeah. We forgot a fuel source for cooking. Well, because the reality is, you, you would be able to cook, right? They would have cooked along the way. Now, we talked about three days and that was it. You would be able to come home. Lehi and his family had to keep going. So you've brought bread, and we as a family tend to make our own bread using sourdough. Mm -hmm. So you might want to do like the pioneers would have done and bring your start. Mm -hmm. Because the pioneers, what I've read about them is that each morning they would take their start and mix up a new batch of bread and cook the batch they had mixed up the night before. Because sourdough needs an eight hour time. And so during the day as they traveled, their sourdough would raise, and they'd cook it at night, and they'd, they'd mix up the one for the next morning, and you feed your start every time you cook with it, as you all know. You might not know at home, but we've been doing a lot of sourdough. So you might even consider, if you were more long-term, bringing your start. It could be fed and, and grow.